Hey everyone, I'm Abby Sharp. Welcome to Abby's Kitchen. Today's video is sponsored by Cheerios and I'm gonna be taking you into my kitchen for a full week of my breakfast. Hope you brought your appetite. So first let's talk about my sponsor Cheerios. February is National Heart Health Month and I think this is a really important cause to bring some awareness to since 2.4 million Canadians are diagnosed with some form of heart disease. This cause is actually very near and dear to my heart because a number of my family members have some form of heart disease. So to help bring the heart health conversation to the forefront, Cheerios has added happy heart shapes to limited edition boxes of Cheerios. I mean, look how cute these are. So sweet. Cheerios has always been a go-to cereal in my house. Both my son and I love it. Uh, not only is it super tasty, but one cup of Cheerios made with oats contains 35% of the fibers that have been shown to help lower cholesterol. So it can help support a heart healthy diet and help increase your physical activity. Cheerios is giving away a bunch of fitness inspired prizes. So definitely check out their limited edition boxes to enter. Also check out my disclaimer on the screen and in the description below, including a reminder that these are not suggestions of what you should be eating or how much you should be eating every day. Um, this is just what I'm eating. And of course it varies every single day. So always just listen to your body and you do you. And also FYI, I usually have like two breakfasts plus a snack before noon because my morning starts hella early. So yeah, you adjust these recipes, Asling, take it away, bigger portion, smaller portion, whatever you need to do, especially if your morning routine isn't as crazy as mine. Okay, folks, well, without ado, let's dive in. So Mondays have to be super simple and easy and fast. So I'm gonna be making my yogurt cereal bowl. I top some good quality full fat yogurt with a handful of 100% whole grain Cheerios. Then I add some sliced banana and a hearty dollop of natural peanut butter, the crunchy one for good texture. How good does this look? I am super excited. Mm. So good. We've got that creaminess of that yogurt, the crunch of the 100% whole grain Cheerios, sweetness of those bananas. Mm. And you gotta get that peanut butter in there. This is one of E's favorite breakfasts as well. And he's been eating Cheerios since he was like a little baby because they've got only a gram of sugar per serving and they're really great for developing that pincer grasp. But mama's gonna eat this all on her own before he wakes up. Mm. Now, Tuesday, it is freezing out, so I'm feeling like some warm, cozy oats. So we're gonna do a Abby's Kitchen recipe staple, a classic over here, my Proats, AKA protein oats. So to a sauce pot, I add my water and my oats, and I let that come to a boil with a pinch of salt and cinnamon. Then I take some egg whites, and I whisk them up until they're super frothy and light. Once the oats have absorbed most of the liquid, I add the eggs in over low heat, and I beat them into the mixture to prevent them from scrambling. Then I add some mashed ripe banana and vanilla extract, and I pop the lid on to let it sit and poof up. You can top it however you like, but today I was feeling like some apples, raisins, and these awesome local spiced pecans. All right, so this is probably one of my all time favorite breakfasts. Mm, and I just like switch up the toppings depending on what I have on hand or what's in season, what's in the fridge or whatever. And this is actually from the Mindful Glow cookbook, which side note folks, if you don't already have it, check out the link below. Mm -hmm. The Mindful Glow cookbook, radiant recipes for being the healthiest, happiest you. So yeah, I'll leave that uh, Amazon link below. Mm. Light as air and no, it does not taste like eggs. It tastes like a cloud. If a cloud had flavor and I knew what a cloud tasted like, I'm quite confident that this would be it. I'm going in. Also, you guys all told me to get the Ember mug. And let me tell you, this is life changing. Finally! I have never experienced hot coffee like this before. If you are a busy person and you never get to have hot coffee, get yourself one of these mugs. I promise you, thank you internet for showing me the light. Okay, Wednesday, pretty busy day. So I'm feeling like something portable and on the go would be a good idea. So we're gonna be doing my egg and black bean breakfast wraps. 
So I crack a few eggs into a bowl and I beat them with a splash of milk with some salt and pepper. Then I heat a pan with some olive oil, add in some diced bell peppers, and then I add my eggs and I just lightly scramble them over low heat. I top it off with some shredded cheddar, some canned black beans, and some baby spinach, and I fold everything together. Then I smash a little avocado into a whole grain tortilla, top it off with my egg mixture, add a little salsa, and then I attempt to wrap it up. And yep, it is a struggle. Wrapping is always a struggle. I overshot it. I always overshoot the wrap size. I should have double wrapped it. Anyway, when or if I do manage to get it to all stay together, I definitely try to eat it as fast as possible before the contents just end up everywhere. I'm serious about this stuff. That is good. And you can actually make the filling and then just kind of put in the fridge and then wrap them up in the morning if you wanna kind of batch prep these. But I do suggest, again, because it's a mess situation, wait to wrap them until you're ready to eat them. All right, back to it, folks. I'm not gonna make you watch me eat a whole burrito. It might be a little suggestive. All right, friends, it's Thursday and I'm feeling like something sweet. So this fully loaded breakfast sweet potato definitely does the trick. I give my sweet potato a little poke and then I can either roast it or nuke it in the microwave until it's super soft. Then I slice it down the middle and I fluff up the innards. And then we add some fun toppings, folks. So you can do yours however you want, but I loaded mine up with some nut butter, some Greek yogurt, lots of fresh berries, a little cinnamon, hemp hearts, and a little bit of granola. Oh my gosh, yes. I even like the sweet potato skin. Am I weird? Tell me if I'm weird. I like that. It's Friday, folks. We made it. Friday, Friday, gotta get down on Friday. And Fridays, typically, I go to the studio to shoot. So it's really crazy chaotic here in the morning. And that is where overnight oats come into play. And tiramisu overnight oats is so good. So the night before, I mixed together some rolled oats almond milk, mascarpone cheese, yes, so good, um, plus some full fat Greek yogurt or pureed cottage cheese. And I add just a hint of maple syrup to taste. And then I let that sit in the fridge overnight. Then the next morning, I dip some lady fingers into some brewed espresso, oh my gosh, so good. Layer those into a container with the prepared oats and finish with like a fancy pants dusting of cocoa powder. I mean, you can do however many layers you want, however many cookies you want to eat for breakfast, um, but I usually do like two layers. Tell me of a more efficient and delicious way to get your caffeine fix in the morning. Come on, it's good. You gotta get a cookie in there. Also, I'm not gonna let the extra espresso go to waste here. Bottoms up. And it's the weekend. So this is typically when I get my fresh sourdough delivered. And that, my friends, means avocado toast. Everything bagel avocado toast. And yes, I know, I say bagel, weird. Don't judge me. Uh. They're called bagels. Anyways, I add a little bit of oil to a nonstick skillet over medium low heat, and I crack a couple eggs down there. Um, I add a little bit of salt and pepper, and I cook them until the whites are opaque, but the yolks are still good and runny. Next, I toast a little sourdough, smear it with some cream cheese, and I smash a ripe avocado right on top. Why cream cheese and avocado? I don't know, folks. This is my breakfast, and this is how I like it, because I like the, the tang of the cream cheese with the creamy, luscious of the avocado. But of course, if you don't like cream cheese or you're dairy free, you can leave that out. I then throw on some roasted red peppers that I had meal prepped for a little bit of extra veg on there, top it off with my fried eggs, sprinkle with some feta cheese, and then douse it with everything but the bagel seasoning. Yes, friends, this is good. Normally I am so not a fork and knife breakfast gal, but I feel like that's that's the only way this is going down without a fight. Mm. Even cold egg is good when there's avocado and everything bagel seasoning. 
thrown in the mix. And finally, it is Sunday, and that means it's time for a little bit of meal prep, and my sheet pan protein pancakes is a huge family hit. So into a food processor, I add some cottage cheese, oat flour, ground flax, eggs, ripe banana, vanilla extract, lots of cinnamon, salt, and baking powder, and I puree it until it's super smooth. Then I pour it into a greased sheet pan, spread it out into a nice thin layer, and top it off with some sliced berries or fruit. I also add a sprinkle of hemp hearts because you guys know, I put that on everything. Bake it off at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for about 12 minutes, and I slice it into squares or strips and drown that goodness in some Sunday morning maple syrup. You can keep these in the fridge or you can freeze them for the week or months ahead by putting them between sheets of wax or parchment paper so they don't all clump together. I am so ready to dig in. Mm, gotta get that maple syrup. Mm. I know that he loves this too. So she's gonna be quite excited that we have a whole sheet pan of pancakes to work through this week. So folks, I hope that gave you a little bit of breakfast inspiration to help pull you out of the breakfast rut. Um, again, a big thank you to Cheerios for sponsoring this video. If you liked it, definitely give it the thumbs up. Leave me a comment below with any other fun vlog ideas that you wanna see me do. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time on Abby's Kitchen. Bye.